could expect, I was getting very close to my host family. Everyone in the town was so inviting and welcoming, and I felt a sense of community right away that I had never felt before. The kids in my class were so nice, funny, and welcoming, and right away they invited me to hang out with them. Going out to dinner and being with my new friends for the first time was really fun, and I remember laughing so hard and having a great time. Oh, adrenalina! That night, I specifically remember having a feeling that everything would be okay and that I was in the right place. I drive a lot! A lot? <laughs> I learned quickly the importance of soccer to my host dad. The night before the game of his favorite team, he explained to me the three most important things in his life. First, he said, was his family, then his work, and then Betis, his favorite team. I came to the conclusion the next day that he, in fact, was not kidding one bit. I was lucky enough to be invited to the game at the home stadium of Betis in Seville. I had never been to a professional soccer game before this one, and I automatically noticed the pure passion, excitement, and community that this game gave to thousands of fans in the stadium that day. This was definitely a cultural experience for me, and I loved it. One week, I went on a nature excursion with my host mom and grandma, and I got to learn more about Andalusia, the region of Spain where I lived. <laughs> At that point, I didn't understand much of what the tour guide said, but I did learn that the region is very pretty and diverse. On that excursion, we went back to the very place where my host mom and I got lost just a week earlier. We joked about it the whole time. After going our own ways after orientation week, I began to miss the American friends that I made very badly. So finally, I got to meet up with Toby and Spencer in Seville and enjoy some quality English speaking time together. This was very rewarding for us to be able to talk about our new lives and the struggles we were all sharing. It was a short two hours together, but very needed. That was also the first night we fell in love with Puente Triana, my favorite bridge on the river of Seville. My first sleepover in another country was with Toby. I met her fun host family and got to see where she settled in with her new life. That day we went to the town's carnival where everyone was in costume, just like Halloween with music and bands playing everywhere. Most people went all out for their costumes, but we just went for the basic black cat look. We had a great time and even met up with some Spanish friends and a few other people in our program. This month taught me more about myself and the world than I had ever learned in a month before. It was definitely the hardest because I had to overcome so many new changes and challenges, but I'm so thankful for all the lessons it taught me. I realize now that if it weren't for the hard times and lonely times I may have gone through adjusting that month, I wouldn't have appreciated the great times I had there. I was always reminded to take, learn, and grow poco a poco, meaning little by little. Today is February 27th, 2019, and tomorrow it will have been a month since I've been in Spain.